Hey guys, I'm back again. Wow, when I'm standing here holding this notebook and getting ready to talk to you, I feel like a, a teacher. Who? I really should have like a... Hold on one moment. Like I'm... <laughs> I, I need to get out more, I know. Anyway, the reason I have this notebook is as tech obsessed as I am, is that that guy again? There was a guy who was skateboarding with a, holding a baby. Skateboarding, holding a baby. I'm not, I'm not lying. I thought that was him again. He's probably fallen in a swamp in there. Okay. Anyway, I'm one of those people that still writes things down. It helps me, and I like to cross things off. Anyway, so I was in the middle of my turbo fire workout this morning after I slept in, and I was using my brand new weighted um, gloves because everybody on Facebook was like, OMG, you've got to get the weighted gloves. It'll rip your shoulders up. And I was like, dang, I'm really seeing good um, results with my entire body, but also my upper body. And I do attribute a lot of that. I could be wrong, um, but that a lot of my cardio, more so in the past, has a ton of kickboxing and punching, um, specifically punching and kicking and, and all of the kickboxing stuff, but just a lot of um, punching. Whereas in the past, if I did, you know, years and years and years back, the, the Taibo stuff was more lower body. It was more lower body intensive. It wasn't as much of the punching. And if you really continually are punching and your arms never go down, um, you know, below your, your shoulder level and you're just, I mean, continually using them the whole time and you're relentless, you'll tear it up on your, on your arms. So when somebody said that on Facebook, I'm like, I need to look into this. And then, of course, I got obsessed and I got impatient. So I went to TJ Maxx yesterday because I know they always sell that kind of stuff. Um, so this was a set that had the um, hand weights in them, the hand gloves, one pound each. And then it also had this cool thing, which I have these. I'm trying to pick it up. Oh, I knew he was going to call me back right when I was in the middle of my video. Hold on one second. Hello. Hey, um, can I call you right back? Because now I'm shooting part two of my video. <laughs> I feel so bad. People are like, I have to plan my whole life around Kelly shooting her videos. Um, it also has this, which is just, do they call these medicine balls? These ones are medicine balls, and then the ones you do, like the, the sit-ups are called what? I always mix up the name for something like this versus the big ones. You know, the, the ones that you can sit on and do... Um, you know, sit-ups and all of that, which, hello, get on the big ball, hold this up, do a sit-up, let me just tell you, that's hurting my core right there and my lower back, which is inappropriate form. Just pretend I didn't say that. Anyway, back to my notes. I'm going to stay on topic, maybe. Ah, uh, God, I love that. I actually have been known to do this. I, when I'm in the middle of my workouts and, and I realize that there's something that I'm talking my mind out of bad habits, and it's something that has, I keep thinking I see that, that person, but it must just be birds. Um, I'll actually write it down, because so many of you guys have, have been asking me, you know, what is it that you're doing differently? And I will tell you, you know, so much of what I have been doing since, the, I got this wet, since the end of last year and early this year, it's all because I'm dealing with these ridiculous notions that I built up myself in my mind. So I know I'm not the only one that does these stupid things. And when you realize how stupid they are and how much is preventing you from success, you will get all over it. So that's why I'm sharing it with you. But anyway, um, one of the things I told you guys before is that whenever I used to, here's how I would give up on things. And, and this is stupid. I would buy, now the TurboFire DVDs were different, but I used to buy certain DVDs. I've, I've been a big workout at home advocate and fan for a while. Um, and I'm starting to really want to do that more. And that's strictly because I can't stand being at the gym and knowing that you have to go to the gym when it's not crowded or you're going to stand there like this. Are you almost done? Are you almost done? When are you going to be done? Really? You want to sit there and talk with your friends and, and post your status to Facebook and you're not even using the machine. Get off! Anyway, you get a little upset. So um, back to working out at home. Often, I'm, I'm not somebody that can do group classes, okay? and not do them well. I don't catch on to moves very fast and, and advanced choreography. And there's two things that I've done which have eliminated me from enjoying certain workouts and getting my workouts done. 
Um, I would get a DVD, and a lot of times, like, I'd get Kathy Friedrich's step DVDs, or any step DVD, and you guys have heard me say this before. You've probably heard me say it a lot. I'm like, I can't do step, I can't do the advanced choreography, because I'm not like that. But guess what? When you talk that way and you say, oh, I can't do that, like I said about running for myself, I said I can't run. Every time I run, I get cramps, and every time I run, my, knee, my knees hurt. Um, I run now. So I figured it out. Instead of saying I can't and writing it off, figure it out. There's, I mean, unless you have no legs, you can run. And I probably shouldn't say that because somebody's going to get mad at me and go, I can't believe you said that. Um, that's, you know what I mean. There, there's just no reason that you can say I can't because then of course somebody that has <sighs> no legs, you know I'm not being mean, but could, could obviously run. There's a lot of people that run with, um, and of course I can't think of the word. What's the word when you get a prosthesis? Am I saying that correctly? Anyway, you know what I'm saying. Stop saying that you can't until you've really, really, really tried to figure it out and stop projecting your limitations back onto yourself, if that even makes sense. Projecting and back onto yourself, probably not. But anyway, I said that for years about running and then it wasn't until Amy Burford came into my life that all of a sudden I'm like, she's never run and now she's training for a half marathon? So yeah, sometimes peer pressure or that sense of community when your friends are doing something and you're the only one not doing it and they're like, what's wrong with you? I know you can do it. Do it, okay? Here's the other thing. I have always written off, you know, advanced choreography DVDs because I thought I can't do it. And here's, here's the second thing that I would do. If it had any kind of advanced moves, you know, any kind of weird step moves that I hadn't done before, I'd be like, oh, I can't do that stuff. And I wouldn't try. And then my secondary reasoning was, I don't want to sit down and put the DVD in my player because I figured in order for me to learn that, this is the perfectionist in me, in order for me to learn the, the moves, I would have to sit down and, and watch them and then be like one, two, you know, three, four, oh, learn the moves, right? And then, and then once I got it and could do the entire DVD perfectly, that's when I would work out. And so I would... I would not do that for two reasons. One, I told myself I didn't have time to sit down at the end of the day or some morning and, and preview a whole DVD and spend my time learning it for 45 minutes or 30 minutes or whatever because that would cut into my day and I didn't have time. So I would say that I didn't have time to do that. And then because I didn't do that, then I would just put that DVD away and go, I can't do that. It has advanced step choreography, so I can't do it. Because I would also think, you know, some of you might say, and this is what I do now, why don't you just start the DVD and do what you can, and then when you get to some moves that you don't get, here's what I do now, this is kind of simple, but I didn't do it before, because frankly, you're just making excuses. When I say you, I'm referring to myself as well. You're just making excuses. You're, you're, you're finding a justification, and you probably don't even realize it, but you're finding a justification to not do the work. So now, like I had not done this uh, Turbo Fire, it's the uh, 55EZ, Workout, I still haven't figured out what these things mean because I thought that meant it was an easy workout. Let me tell you, it was harder than the, the Fire 60 ones. Not quite understanding that, but who cares? <laughs> it's all good. I did this, and there's this, I think I'm actually, I have it forwarded to like one of the moves that I wasn't quite getting. I'm just going to show you for... Out and out. Now forward. Ski. Okay. Now that's not the most. Hold on. Hold on. That's not like the most advanced. That just happens to be where I forwarded it to. But that one part where she's going sides, side, and in the middle, two skis, and then side again. I hadn't seen that move, and I was like, whoa, whoa! But guess what? You know what I do? Is I paused it. I re rewound it a little bit did it again two or three times and then I'm like, okay, so then I rewound it a little bit more and then I did the whole move where I got it in a flow. Now, my old self would have been like, oh, if I stop and rewind it, then I'm, you know, my heart rate's gonna go down and I'm not gonna be sweating as much and then it's just gonna ruin the whole workout. Do you think it ruined the whole workout? Do you know how much I burned today? Okay, and because now, granted, I think because I rewound it a couple of times, um, my workout was over, the, the actual time of my workout was longer, but hello. 
I got a great workout in. I learned the moves. I don't have them totally. I guarantee you the next time I do this, I'm still gonna be like, oh wait, oh! You know, sometimes I do the right side perfectly and then when she switches to the left side, I'm like, dang it! You know, but number one, you can learn the moves as you go. Number two, when you work out at home, <laughs> there's nobody to go, Psh. She's not getting it. And if somebody did that to me in a class right now, I'd probably go beat them. Um, secondly, or thirdly, I don't know what point I was on. I had a great time. And although I was, I don't want to say I was in a bad mood when I woke up, but I guess when I woke up and I had let myself sleep in so late, there was just part of me like, oh, I'm starting my day late. I'm not, you know, having my meals the way that I want them to. And it just felt like I was starting my day off, you know? And so I was kind of, there is no way Okay, and I'm not trying to be overly salesperson-y here. There is no way, specifically with TurboFire, well, I have to say that about Kathy's workouts too, but TurboFire workouts, there is no way that you are gonna do these workouts. If you like any kind of fun dance music, kicking and punching and whatever, that you will do this and not have a blast and not be in a great mood. I just, honestly, I almost challenge you to try it. I mean, I am just having more fun with this and I'm just so, Again, I'm, I'm annoyed at myself that when my friend Jessica lent me her copy a year and a half, two years ago, whatever it was, that I was like, I can't do it. Advanced choreography, I can't do it. So I kept doing like the same five DVDs that I had. So now, obviously, I love this. I love Les Mills Combat. Um, I love Kathy's new X-Train series and all of Kathy's seven new DVDs coming out. I think Ilaria has three new DVDs coming out too. I have to follow up with her. Um, anyway, the other thing too, to just wrap up and wow with, I think we're gonna be under 15 minutes for this vlog. Um, you guys have been asking um, a couple of things. <sighs> what are my supplements? They're pretty simple. I'm still taking, and of course I didn't bring over the third part. I'm still doing Genetics HD. So these are like the, I don't want to say the vitamin pack. These are the pills you take before your, your second workout. I use Vitapax, which is just your vitamins. Um, I am now using, I take zinc aspartate before bed. Um, it helps you sleep and it's also aids in muscle, muscle recovery. And now, my friends at BSN, you know I've loved BSN Lean Dessert Protein Powder for a long time. It's the only protein powder I know that you can make really good protein pancakes with. So I use GNC AMP for my... Um, protein shakes and for like if I'm making zucchini bread that zucchini protein bread I'll use the GNC amp for that but for protein pancakes alone not this sorry this is no explode this is pre-workout um, but if I'm going to do a protein pancake which is really just um, a scoop and a half of protein powder mixed with egg whites and a little water BSN lean dessert protein powder I've been using it for years the best stuff ever and now at full ex exposure I almost said full disclosure they did send me this um, and I have to say I've heard about no explode for years I was always using um, Gaspari super pump before a workout this is astonishingly good energy tastes amazing more details on that later I am under 15 minutes this is so exciting so I have to go change out of my sweaty clothes you guys have a good weekend rest of the weekend and I will talk to you tomorrow